Hey, so Ryan's Angel, and I thought I'd try something a little different today. Shadows Awakening. This is a Diablo-like game. I haven't played Diablo in a long time. Not even the newest one. I thought being Halloween, this is kind of spooky. It's like a dungeon crawler. I like that sort of stuff, so... Let's check out Shadows Awakening. See what it's all about. Mm, I think I'll try normal. Perhaps I should feel some twinge of guilt at all I have done, but I've had little time for scruples. It was once an honor to be entombed within these ancient catacombs, but centuries have passed, and now only the brave or foolhardy walk these tunnels. Perhaps I'm the last living soul here, although I'm far from alone. This is not my story, although I am the architect of what transpires. A conspirator in the ruination that threatens the heretic kingdoms. And the most unlikely of alliances that might yet save us all. Thou summons me. What is thy pact? I seek only that we shall both survive. Thou hast a liar's tongue and cannot be trusted. I do not ask you to trust me, nor should you. I would betray you without hesitation if I deemed it necessary. But we are fortunate, you and I. We have the same enemies. Our only hope lies in partnership, which is precisely why I have summoned you here, demon. Okay, right off the bat, the voice acting is incredible. It reminds me of that game, um, that old game on PlayStation 2, Legacy of Kane. Especially the way the devourer, this guy, sounds. He's like, Raziel, Legacy of Cain. Whoa. <laughs> what was that? Wait a minute, did he leave something? Oh. Yeah. Wow, it's so cool. I like the way it looks. A lot of detail on the graphics. Can I kill that? What happened? Oh. Weapons! Yeah! Is that a treasure chest? I guess I have to go here. You were summoned without a pact. So whichever soul you devour will now bind you to a path beyond anyone's control. Choose wisely, demon. Who should I pick? Warrior chick? This guy looks like some kind of wizard. Maybe. This guy looks cool. He's a warrior. They called him the Bandit King. A warrior and a mercenary. He led the Guild of Steel in foe. Sadly for Kallig, he trusted his own son a little more than he could afford. Some called him a barbarian. But few lived who did so. Choose Kalig if you wish the might and fortitude of a great warrior. I choose him. My own son, a traitor. Nemec, I shall have my vengeance. I require thy soul. Thou hast no further need of it. And he just bought a soul. soul is mine. The agony is unbearable. Curse you, demon. Very well. The die is cast. I live. In a sense, 
you and the demon are one now. In truth, I do not know what that will mean. Thy soul is mine to command. You overrate your powers, demon, and underestimate Kali's. Your fate and his are now bound together, as is my own. Now make haste to the city of Thal that lies above this crypt. A cenotaph can transport you. Our fates are bound together, demon. Either we shall find a way to survive together, or we shall both surely perish. Thou threatens me? No. Something far more dangerous than I threatens us all. Join me in the Tholian Arcanum as soon as you can. We have much to discuss. Damn. Oh, I can switch between characters. Nice. Ooh, here we go. Oh! It's like Conan. Alright. Get out of here, you little rat. <laughs> Oh, see, it was a treasure chest. Whatever I can use, I can sell. Right? Right. Get away from me, spider. Ooh. Structable environment. Maybe. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Alright. Now let me break this wall, obviously. Oh, wait. Get away. Oh, I switched back? What happened? What have you done to me, demon? I want answers! No demon commands me! Thou art mistaken. Get out of here. Whoa. Let me check this. Thanks. Active skills. Upgrade skills. Need to level 3. I can do the same with him. Strength. Alright, this is cool. Uh, I don't know if I... Did I accept that weapon? Wait. Oh. Now I have it. What's better though? Let me see. What is this? Weapon damage, 60-70 point. I don't even have... What happened to my sword? What happened to my sword? Main quest. Exit. A forgotten world. Man, there's just spiders everywhere here. I don't have arachnophobia. Yes, yes, I know. That's another thing. Uh, I was saying earlier, it's like Legacy of Cain, and that exists in two parallel universes as well. Wait, is this made by the same people who made Legacy of Cain? Get out of here. All right. How am I going to cross this now? where I came from. Man, I keep forgetting all of these open. Can I go here? No. How do I get across that bridge now? I gotta figure out. No. Exit to find a s cenotaph to escape. What? Didn't I open this earlier?
Yeah, I guess I gotta go back. Oh, what's that? Oh, I took it off. I still need more armor. Can you run in this game? Oh wait, maybe I can get it. I can get across with him. A step closer to my final form. Oh, I got an achievement. What is that? Maybe he can get across the bridge. Oh, I can. Okay, I'm starting to understand how this game works. It's kind of like, what's that game? Um, Soul Stones. Okay. It's almost like uh, Gianna Sisters. That game where you play in two different parallel universes. Oh, whoa. Is this a joke? <laughs> Is this a joke? <laughs> All right. Let's go. Got to pull this lever. Oh, there was no animation of him pulling the lever. Stuff to turn something else off. Hey! Oh, there it is. Can't open this? Oh, I can. Alright, that's pretty easy. So far, I like this game. It's got like an old school vibe to it. I always like dungeon type, you know, crawler games and stuff like that. Press to activate. Where's my health? What is that? Principle of gate weaving. I guess I gotta switch again. I've always, uh, what was I saying earlier? I always like these sort of games. Um, I'm not like a, you know, I'm not like a, I'm not exactly like a young guy. I'm not old either, but I'm <laughs> saying that I, I played Adventure on Atari 2600 back in 1980 or 79 or something like that. And ever since then, I've always liked like uh, medieval type dungeon crawlers and stuff, even though that game looks terrible. But, you know, after that I played Sword Quest on Atari. I always love these sort of games. Man, it's like, full of spiders everywhere. Come on. What's that? Old heavy boots. I think it auto equips them anyway. I think. Where'd that come from?
Use both worlds to solve the riddle. Oh, I see. I think. Can I go on it as soon as it passes? But oh. Oh man. I think I have an idea. Wait. <laughs> Press the wrong button. Hold on. Wait till it comes around again. Ah. Okay, this is easy. Just gotta time it. Time! And here too. Oh. Yeah, that was pretty easy. This challenge needs a stronger warrior. For sure. Uh oh, is this like a boss detector? Whoa! Oh no! What? Gotta wait till that reloads. Now! Yeah! It's Shelob! The Lord of the Rings! Damn. Come on! What does that do? I know. Oh no. Wait a minute. I need health. That wasn't health. Give me health. What's that? What's that? What is it? Shield? Full shield. What's the what's the creature's health? Man, he doesn't seem to attack you until you're close range. What am I gonna do with silver? I need like help. Feeling a little light headed. Yay. Ah. Uh, <sighs> what was my last save? Feeling a little light headed. Oh, it's right here. I should have, uh, meh, 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 meh. I don't have health, do I? Oh, man. I have to take my time. Does it have a health meter? Does anybody see a health meter? I hate games that don't have health meters. I was recently playing um, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night and I love that game, but I just really wish the bosses would have a health meter. Not knowing when you're about to defeat it. Okay, I see something when I hit it, but I can't understand that meter. What's it? It's. It's gray, mostly gray, and then there's some red. Damn it. You're going down. I don't understand his attack. The enemy is too strong to be challenged directly by a single character. Shielded spider is protected by attacking. So Okay, I'm supposed to do it like between the two characters. Now Okay, I think I'm starting to understand now. 
So the demon breaks his shield. Then I turn back into the warrior. So now. Now, turn back. And wait. Ay, ay, ay. Confused about buttons here. Okay. Yeah, he's got, his health is going down. You're going down, spider. Oh, it's just slow going. Really? Hey! Is this thing about to die or what? Oh, the shield's totally gone. Wow, we just got the shield down, and now I still have to take down all the rest of the red meter. Wow, okay. He's finished. Yes! I win! Victory is at hand! Oh. This must be the senator of the Hooded Man spoke of. Its power breaches shadow. There is much I might do here. This cenotaph is erected upon the graves of many dead mortals. It shall be easy to gate weave back to this place should I find another such monument. And I sense a gate here already. The hooded man's work may have. It must be the way out he mentioned. Let's try. Oh wait. Get some stuff here. I do love collecting in video games. Uh wait, let me see. I just wanna be thorough, make sure I didn't miss anything. So far I'm liking this game a lot. It's really good. Alright. So I guess we made it through the first part. World map. Auto save. Ooh. What is this? Like, um... Uh, Arab or something? I 
can't go up the ladder? It's kind of lame. Hmm. Order me, demon. You're in my town now, Thol, the city of outcasts. We must find my son. I have unfinished business with Nemec. I have unfinished. Whoa. It's in here. <laughs> I'm confused. Am I throwing in silver? Oops. <laughs> I just think I gave away my silver. <gasps> oh. Tooth hole. Okay, finally a new section. Wow. Mm, low times, um, they could be a little better in this game, but it picks up. It looks like it's going to go really slow, then it picks up. Perched atop an ancient stone plateau, amidst the red sands of the outlands, lies the city of Thol. Centuries ago, it was a major garrison for the Gerulian Empire. And there may even have been a settlement prior to this era. These days, Thol is a city of thieves and outcasts. Fugitives of all kinds come here to avoid complications in neighboring nations. Not everyone in Thol has a price upon his head, but no one who dwells here is innocent. The Guild of Steel like to call themselves mercenaries, protecting the few caravans that ply their trade across the desert. Yet those that do not pay for their protection find the guild equally adept at brigandage. The guild of silk call themselves merchants and do indeed sell all manner of goods and trinkets. Though it is best not to ask them from whence they came. A vast stone gate is all that remains of the Barbican that once defended these walls. Now, it guards the city of Thole once more from the horde of nomads that besiege it. For three years, I have been hiding here amid the detritus of the heretic kingdoms. But it is only a matter of time before my former allies locate me. And I am running out of places to hide. In my hometown, I'll do the talking here. I do not need yours or anyone else's permission to return to my city, Duke. Kalik! I thought you were... Um... Dead? What can I say? I got better. <laughs> You should not have come back. Nemec commands the Guild of Steel now. My son and I have much to... discuss. Do not bring fighting onto my streets or there will be consequences. It is bad enough that we are besieged without civil war breaking out inside the walls. We're under attack? Aye. Nomads under the command of some Taimurian exile. But the city has stood for centuries, and it will not fall under my watch. I'll be keeping an eye on you, Kalig. What an honor. Te ma al ortas. I'm coming, Nemec. Papa's home. <laughs> Papa's home. We're going to go play baseball. You seem lost. Maybe you should go talk to Arashad at the Guild of Silk. Oh, I thought you could attack him. <laughs> Who's this? 
Is that a, what is that? It's some rando. My friend sells excellent weapons at great prices. That's something I gotta say about this game. Um, I love that they have vo uh, voice acting for every single character in this game. I don't have to do the voice voices anymore. <laughs> Ooh, what is this? What is that? I thought it was an elephant. I like games where you go between different dimensions. Because you get like two different games, kind of. You get this game, and then you get this game. I think Legacy of Kane was one of the first games that ever did that. I'm not liking that every time I go to a new place that there's a load screen, although they're pretty quick. Oh, I went back. <laughs> I went back where I was. Durr. Keep putting the price of food up. Follow this path. Oh God. Continue on up the stairs, and you'll find Arashad. A lot of overacting there. Arashad, you scoundrel! Has no one in your employ managed to kill you yet? Khalik, you rabid dog! They said you were dead. <laughs> I was for a while, <laughs> but you know how it is. Faked your own death, eh? Didn't think you had it in you. Some days, I surprise even myself. What do you need? Do you have any need for my skills? I am in need of some assistance, actually. I've lost a few merchants to aphotic spider attacks at night. Nasty creatures. And recently hiding in every shadow, it seems. You have questions? Okay, fetch quest. Okay, so this is first impressions. So what do I think of this game so far? I love the graphics. Graphics are 10 out of 10. Um, controls are really good. Um... Music is really good, the voice acting. Load screens are a little annoying, but not that much. I like the exploration. The little storylines. Like here and there, that you can tell there's like side missions. Well, I'm worried what the nomads might do to my family. I like the way every character has like little stories to tell you. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep playing this game. I like it. I think I'm gonna end it here because I don't want to spoil the rest of the game. So, if uh, if you like this game, I would say. I mean, if you like what you see here, I would say go for it and get it. It's uh, not that much this game, and uh. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with it, especially if you like games like Diablo. I think you'll have a good time with this game. I also want to say uh, I, want, I appreciate uh, all the people who have subscribed lately. And um, please like and share this video if you can. And uh, also, uh, I'm going to be making some more bezels soon. Actually, I have two bezels finished right now, which I'll probably be uploading soon. And um, that's about it for now. And um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.